On today's episode of Behind These Eyes, we're going to get messy with some Mod Podge, upcycle and repurpose, three of my favorite things. So we start with some repurposed denim, and this denim has a little story. My grandmother recently passed away after being living with us for 12 years. She was always very supportive of my crafting and any artistic thing I did. So I've saved a lot of her clothes, and I'm trying to repurpose them into artistic things in her memory. So I took a scrap of denim fabric and a paper lace doily, and we used a great product from Plaid. It's the Fabric Mod Podge. And it applies just like any other Mod Podge. We just cover the entire piece of fabric and the paper right onto it. And when you're done, it feels like fabric. That paper doily is just, just like the fabric now. So once it's dry, so we would set it aside and let it dry until it was complete. So I cut out our dry decoupaged heart. And I wanted the edge to be a little fringy. Denim can be tougher to fringe because it's so much sturdier, so I just took my scissor and just made little things and then just kind of roughed it up, just to kind of give it a little rough edge. So once that piece was done, I just set it aside and went on to make the pillow itself. To do that, I have another piece of the denim. This piece is nine by nine. And then I have a piece of patterned fabric, and this is actually a dish towel that I purchased last year after the holiday. It was on clearance rack, so I grabbed everything I could, and now I'm repurposing this. This is cut to eight by eight. And those are your two beginning pieces. You take your nine by nine piece of denim and fold it over to eight by eight. It doesn't have to be pretty as long as it's eight by eight when you're finished. And go ahead and pin that. Then I cut the four corners. Just snip the corners. And we're ready to stitch. Back to our eight by eight piece of repurposed dish towel. And we're going to put these face to face. We want this edge out because that's gonna be our fringe. So you would go ahead and put the two pieces together and pin around those. And then you would stitch a quarter of an inch around three sides. You only wanna stitch around three sides. Leave the top open. So if you have a pattern that it matters where the top is, make sure you take note of that. Once you've got it stitched, you would turn it right side too. And there's that edge. I went and trimmed it back and fringed it again. Here's the open top. Then it's time to add the heart that we made. Now you could go ahead and Mod Podge this on to hold it in place. You could also put it on before you stitched it together, but I wanted to know exactly where I was placing it on the finished pillow. So I went ahead and embroidered it onto place once the pillow was ready to be stuffed. I just took a regular embroidery thread, full strips, I didn't take any off. So once we've got our embroidery stitch that would start here and go around and up to here, we're gonna add a little accent button in the center, but this is where our pocket is open. I took one of these cute little Blumenthal Lansing floral buttons and I stitched it in place in the center of the heart. And then I continued my embroidery around each edges to meet up with the piece that's holding it together, just so that it would be uniform and that little heart would be outlined in an accent thread. And what you're left with is a little pocket. Then I stuffed it. Once I stuffed it, I removed the pins. Folded that raw edge up and went ahead and stitched along the back, trimmed this, and fringed it like I did the other. And when you're finished, you have a little Valentine pillow with a pocket that you can put a little special note to somebody, a little delicious Valentine snack, or even a little flower, or if it's for the man in your life, maybe the remote control. Whatever might get you a little Valentine's attention, and you have upcycled, repurposed, and done a little messy Mod Podge for a Valentine surprise. And remember, if you're looking for an artist who dares to be different, you'll find her behind these eyes.